Motion sensors and presence sensors are designed to detect appearance or disappearance of the infrared light on the photo cell that serves as a basis of such devices. These factors are primarily associated with activities of man and much less often with exposure to thermal radiation generated by household devices, which can at times result in the sensors going off by mistake. For example, such sensors are basically unable to detect presence of a man in a room with the heat insulated floors. In its physical nature, the IR radiation and the visible light are the same. When infrared light reaches the lens, the photocell changes its parameters. The brightness of the infrared light depends on the body temperature. The higher the temperature, the brighter the light, and vice versa. That is why the infrared glow of the human body is the highest and the sensor detects it immediately. And what is the difference between the present sensors and the motion sensors? Motion sensors are less sensitive and the photocell amplification path is limited in its thermal sensitivity. That is why this kind of devices is designed to respond only to a moving person. The present sensors detect any light movements even when a person slightly moves his or her fingers. In this case, the sensor goes off only when there is no one in the room or when the person who is in the room is sitting still. Now let us look at the sensor design. The center of the device that contains the signal processing circuit encompasses an infrared light receiver, or more precisely, a photoelectric infrared sensor. The main lens consists of many small lenses, each of which focuses the infrared light onto the photocell surface, with one of them directed onto the photocell itself. The signal is registered. When a person moves, the focus of the lens temporarily shifts away from the photocell, and the signal disappears. Another lens focuses the IR light onto a person, and the signal comes back again. Each of the lenses covers its own segment, which is why the signal disappears when the person leaves the zone of the segment. That is why the higher the number of lenses, the more sensitive the sensor is. As we move away from the sensor, the size of the segment increases. All the slight movements will now be located in the zone of one segment only. In this case, the present sensor will work only as a motion sensor. The key characteristic of a motion sensor is a detection radius. The present sensor is characterized by the detection radius of a sitting person, a standing person or a moving person, as well as for any changes in the position of human body that is monitored by the photoelectric eye.